and here capsular access problems, but once you have the rules, you cannot go into complications. Let's move a step forward. Hydrosection is important that you are able to rotate the, the lens so you can deal with the nucleus with the fake, with the metal phaco tip in the place that is easy to, to catch. The metal tip is not bent, you cannot bend it. So you cannot go under the wound to, to do phaco massification. So hydrosection was a, a very nice step that we learned to do it to allow us to rotate this nucleus. But it can have problems. That's why I showed the rules of hydrosection. If you you miss the rules of hydrosection, then you will get into a problem. And this is the most, the easiest problem that the lens will not rotate. But the most serious problem, look here. Just watch, this is a simple case, hydrosection. And now, fake emulsification. It looks as a simple, straightforward case. It looks like nothing happened. And lens is not m moving properly. Now the step of cracking the nucleus, and now nucleus is into the vitreous. So what happened? Actually, Look here, you will see like an explosion in the center. This is the wave. This is in slow motion, see? Wait, now. Look here. Phew, it's like an explosion. And this is called capsular block syndrome. You have to see it once to avoid that you don't see it again because it's a really bad complication very early in the surgery. So, it's very important to be aware what happens if you have a small rexis, bigger nucleus, injecting forcibly, you don't give time for the wave to pass to the other side of the nucleus. And that's why the technique, the proper technique of hydro dissection is not just injecting. You have to see the wave passing to the other side. And what happens in this complication that you inject viscous uh, uh, hydro dissection fluid, it accumulates in the between the nucleus and the posterior capsule, which is very thin, and you keep injecting because the nucleus is not moving, and then it comes to a point that the nucleus will rupture, and the rupture will let the, the fluid go into the vitreous. Sometimes you'll see shallowing of the anterior chamber, but or you will not see anything, and then you will be uh, surprised that the nucleus is dropping once you start phaco masturbation. So it's, it's not a common complication. You have to know about it. You know the technique to avoid it because it's a really bad complication. So let's move to our 